What's up, everybody? It's Trey Coles here. And it's Josh Ante. And today, we wanted to do a special collab video. Since the new year is approaching, we wanted to discuss how you can become a better developer in the year 2023. Absolutely. So on top of that, we're going to have some good questions that have to do with tech in 2023 and beyond. So please stay tuned to that. And we're going to go ahead and jump into our first question. How do you become a better developer in 2023? So I'm gonna go ahead and let you answer first. Okay, so to become a better developer in 2023, uh, the first thing that you need to do is have a plan. So you need to know exactly what you wanna do in 2023. If you wanna learn a new programming language, set that goal, like get courses, whether it's on Udemy, Free Code Camp, YouTube, and like work towards those goals and set realistic goals too, because within a year, like you may be able to get a lot done or you may not be based on your job and et cetera. So be sure to have a real laid out plan in January to make sure you know exactly what you want to accomplish and make sure you do that. And usually what I would recommend is like, uh, making sure that within that plan, make sure that every day you try to work on a, like a lead code problem or a cold wars problem Make sure it's something with regards to like coding challenges to make sure that you stay on top of your skills because coding challenges aren't going anywhere and you just need to prepare for 2023. And yeah, that's mainly what I got because after you have a good goal and you've set real good ones, the rest will take care of itself. Absolutely. I can't argue none of that. All right. So yeah, everything you said, 100% accurate. I think for me to become a better developer for 2023, I would say figure out like what type of development actually interests you first, because there's so many different types of development. You can do, you know, mobile app development, you can do game development, and then, you know, those can branch off into their own separate, you know, routes as well. So I think that never look at development as just one thing or pigeonhole yourself into something that you don't really like, because then you'll get tired of it. Try to find an aspect of development that really, you know, kind of gets you going. And then from there, like, just have fun with it. You know what I mean? Like develop a passion for it. Look at it as a hobby. Don't look at it as work because every time you look at something as work, you kind of lose the fun. You, you kind of lose that vigor and you, you know what I mean? So make sure that you always look at it as a pleasure. Like when you wake up to develop something, don't say I have to develop, say I get to develop. And it'll change your whole mindset. So I think by, you know, finding the development that you like and then making it a passion is a way that you can become a better developer in 2023. All right, so that's how you can become a better developer in 2023. Now, this wouldn't be an accurate video if we weren't able to give you some more insight on just being developers in general. So now we're gonna ask each other some personal questions about our experiences in tech, our goals, some of the obstacles we overcame, and just make it a very personable type interview. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first question. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it. So the first question that I have, is what new programming languages do you want to learn in 2023? All right, so I was just at the bar the other day with my homie, and he was telling me about Golang. Okay. And Golang apparently is like, it's a language that is, is used for the back end, so I guess it works with the server and stuff like that. But he said it's super simple to use, and a lot of companies use it. They use it with Kubernetes and Docker and things like that. So I was like, you know what? Golang will be on my bucket list for next year as far as the language I'm gonna learn. Uh, and also Python. That's one I've been kind of putting on the back burner for a little minute. So I told myself I'm gonna get there as well. So Python and Golang are the two that I'm trying to learn. Okay. So he gonna he about to be a back end developer, y'all. Y'all hear that? Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, man. I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool on the front end, man. For sure. Oh, that's good. All right. So look, question for you: Are there any different areas outside of the development you're already doing that you would like to jump in as far as like a new area of tech for next year? Yeah. So main one is in into game development so learning how to create my own game and mainly i may start off with kid games or simple small games at first and then eventually like level it up and hopefully get like you know a point to where i know how to use a different programming language instead of you know react and javascript and be able to use whether it's c plus plus or whatever else they use i'm gonna be able to uh gain those skills as a programmer and be able to, you know, like I said, make my own game. So, as simple as it gets. Okay, I'm not mad at that, I'm mad at that. This question here, 
it's an interesting one because it's very popular right now. But let me ask you this. Right. Will AI take our dev jobs in 2023? Mm, that's a very, very, very good question. Uh, and I was just having this conversation with one of my friends the other day at the gym. And there's some AI out there that is very, uh, very scary as far as like the potential it has to kind of duplicate man-made work, right? right? Like, you know, with chat GPT and stuff like that, you've got systems out there that are actually building out code for people within five seconds. So it's almost like, man, how do I as a developer compete with that type of machinery? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, if you asked me this question maybe last week, I would say, yeah, AI will definitely take over people's jobs and stuff. But now I'm kind of looking at it a little bit differently and thinking that even with AI and stuff like that, we still need people on the forefront to lead this type of technology. There still has to be someone that is creating this type of AI to even put it in place in the first place. So I think that jobs may get slimmer, but I don't think it will completely wipe out devs. I think you're always gonna need devs to keep pushing technology forward to make the next best thing. Because if you don't, the AI will eventually get stagnant. Everything everything in technology gets stagnant until someone else has the new bright idea to make it go further. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, AI doesn't wipe us out completely, but it's, it's definitely going to be challenging. We got to start thinking outside the box, man. So we're good next year, though. Oh, yeah, we good. 2023 is our year. We good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know about 2040, but we're going to live in the moment right now. We good 2023. Yeah. yeah. All right. Got a good question for you right here. All right. This is a personal question. Um, and it's, you know, to kind of explain a little bit more about what you've been through. But what has been an obstacle for you? Like the biggest obstacle this year? And then what's been your biggest accomplishment this year? Okay. I would say, honestly, y'all, it's really been trying to understand data structures and algorithms. Like, that has been a bigger struggle for me because I'm a self-taught developer. I didn't go through, like, you know, a computer science degree. So I'm just learning stuff on the fly. I did enough to land my first job. But at the same time, like, if I'm going to get to that next level, I have to understand data structures and algorithms. But now, beginning of the year to now, like I'm way better, way better. So I'm definitely at a point saying that this obstacle is being chopped down day by day. And then. So yeah, that was, that's your biggest obstacle. Yeah. What's been your biggest accomplishment this year? So my biggest accomplishment this year has been keeping my job. <laughs> <laughs> that's my biggest accomplishment. Yeah. Cause hey, nobody likes talking first, about, man. nobody likes talking about, like when you get a job, hey, you funny. everybody talk about when you get the job, how to land your first job as a software engineer, but nobody talk about like, how to maintain it. Right, right, right. So right, right. maintaining my job as a software engineer for the whole year has been great, man. No, that, is, that is definitely something to a part right Yeah, man, because I, I really like, I'm not the I'm not the lowest of the group on, uh, with my dev team. Like I hold my own, like yeah. they can rely on me to get stuff done. And that's a big thing because I feel like my job is more secure with that. So. Yeah, I'm bringing value to the team, and yeah, man, that's that's been my biggest accomplishment. And that tech money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah tech money, something serious. Man. You can't you can't look away with the tech money. Oh, that's yeah, what's up. That's yeah. what's Okay, I like that. All right, so that wraps up our interview for today. Hopefully, you got some good information from this video that will let you become a better developer for the year 2023. That's right. So be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms, as well as subscribe, like, and comment. Yep. Until next time. Espera que tengas un buen día. 